This ministry content is brought to you by the partners of Terry Savelle Foy Ministries. But do you know that by December 31st, 2012, every single impossible goal was achieved? All I did was practice what God's Word says to do when you have a dream. I'm telling you, He is faithful to His Word, but you got to stay focused no matter what. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to talk to you today about how to stay focused on what you really want, because what you see, you will be. In other words, I like to explain it like this. Just like those old Polaroid cameras, whatever you focus on, it will eventually develop in your life, right? Well, I want to help you get laser focused on your dreams and goals. See, when the mind has a target, it can focus and direct itself. And I'm convinced that you get what you focus on. If you focus on nothing, you get nothing, right? And I want to ask you real quick, would you do a favor for me? Would you subscribe to my channel? You know, it's amazing how just pushing that subscribe button helps us reach more people with success from God's Word. So when you do that, you are making such a difference. So I want to say thank you for doing that favor for me and taking the time to be a subscriber. I don't take that lightly. So I read where 97% of Americans are trying to live their lives without clear, specific, written goals. 97%. Well, you are moving into the 3% category today. In fact, Jim Rohn said that setting goals is a habit that altered his life forever and made him a millionaire. And I love the story Jim tells of his mentor, a guy named Earl Schof, who said to him one day, he said, Jim, let me see your list of goals. Let's go over them. I can give you some good advice. Jim said, I don't have a list. His mentor said, are they out in the car or something? Go get them. Jim said, I don't have a list anywhere. His mentor said, Well, if you don't have a list of your goals in writing, then I bet I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. Jim said, that got my attention. He said, you mean my bank balance would be a lot bigger if I learned how to set goals? His mentor said, drastically bigger. Well, within five years, Jim Rohn was a millionaire. So I began to learn this concept of focusing on what you want, setting goals the right way, that what you see, you will be. In fact, I'd love to go through a quick three-step checklist on how to get started. But I'm also very excited to offer for the first time in a while the $97 Vision Board course. It's an online course for only $8. We're bringing it back. You know, this is where I go much more in depth on how to set goals, how to make your vision board, how to stay focused until they manifest, See, that's the problem. Most people don't focus the right way until they get it. I'll touch on a few things today, but we had over 30,000 students take this online course and every single day we get testimonies of goals checked off, dreams achieved, debts paid off, losing weight, getting married, buying dream houses. I want that for you. So don't put it off another year. Learn how to manifest your dreams, the dreams God's put in your heart by applying his success principles to your vision board. So just click the link in the description of this video and get started today for only $8. And I hope that's a blessing to you. So the thing is, every motivational speaker talks about goal setting. Goals determine what drives you. You always get more of what you focus on. You know, I heard Tony Robbins share this example and he said, most people spend time thinking of all the ways to not get fat. He said, the problem is in order to not anything, you have to think about it. If I say, try not to think about elephants, your mind goes right to elephants. Well, people say to themselves, why am I so fat? How can I not be fat anymore? He said, so what are they thinking about? Fat, they are reinforcing that image. So always state your goals in the positive and on what you want. Focus on what you do want and you will condition your mind to attract more of it. So real quick, let's go through three steps that can change your life by the end of this year. Okay, number one is know what you want. What do you want? Mark Twain said, I can teach anybody how to get what they want in life. Problem is, I can't find anybody who can tell me what they truly want. So what do you want? Brian Tracy said, most people's goals are to get through the week. He said, they're like sheep, they just follow the herd. He said, they don't bother to design their destiny. They just 
leave things to chance. No, start deliberately, steering in the direction you want to go. It's sad, but most people spend more time making a list of things to get at the grocery store than a list of goals for their lives. And as humans, you know, we need something to strive for. God's the one who said, without a vision, my people perish. They drift. They cast off restraint. They just exist. You, you may have read the book, you know, Viktor Frankl wrote about man's search for meaning. He talked about his experience in a Nazi concentration camp, World War II. And he did a personal study on why one out of 28 people survived. What he observed is that those who made it through weren't the most fit or the most intelligent, but they were the ones who had a purpose, a dream, a goal. That's what kept them going. Well, I want that for you. God wants that for you. Okay, number two is be very specific. Vague goals produce vague results. Don't ever put on your vision board, I want to make more money. Your brain doesn't even know how to go after that goal because it has no substance, no clarity to it. Does more mean $200, $2,000, $20,000? We don't know. Where do you want to live? Don't just say a nicer house. What does that look like? Get a photo of what you desire. Put it on your vision board. What do you want to drive? What model? What color? How much money do you want to save? What do you want to weigh? What do you want to look like? Who do you want to be friends with or work with or connect with? Don't just say influential people. No, be very specific who. You know, years and years ago, when I started learning these success principles, I wrote down that I wanted to be friends with people I respect and admire, and I listed a bunch of people. Well, one of them was John Maxwell because he had impacted my life so much. But I didn't have a way to make that happen. Nobody in my circles was hanging out with John Maxwell at that time. But I began doing what I teach in the Vision Board course. And little by little, my life began to grow and increase. And you know, just last month, I was having dinner at John Maxwell's house. I'm telling you, be specific about what you want. Who do you want to meet and work with? You know, I wrote down that I have favor with people I respect and admire, like Ed Milet, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Kelly Finglass, the head coach for the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. I mean, I literally handwritten on my vision board, I wrote that down. Do you know, all four of those mentors and friends endorsed my new book, The Alone Advantage. I look at the back cover of this book and I think, God, you are so faithful. You're the one who said, ask and you shall receive. Thank you for giving me the desires of my heart. Here they are, Ed Milet, Kelly Finglass, Brian Tracy, and Les Brown. Now this is so important. And of course I'll teach you how to get specific with your goals and dreams in the course, but you've got to get clear and specific on what you want to see in your life. Oh, and real quick, before I get to number three, this month, I wanted to mention this so I don't forget, we have something so special happening. I want to invite you to join me for my annual Live Your Dreams virtual event. We bring in the best speakers in the world to teach you how to get focused on your goals, how to get your body in shape, how to live debt free from Dave Ramsey's daughter, have money in the bank, how to get your house organized and in order how to develop success habits that lead you to the life of your dreams. So get invested in your dreams. Get invested in your personal growth. Get serious about making progress this year. How? Get your ticket to this virtual conference by just clicking the link in the description and just put it on your calendar. This is you time. And you can watch it in your jammies. You can eat cake and grow at the same time. <laughs> You're gonna love the speakers. Okay, back to our topic. So in 2012, that was the first time I wrote down my 10 highest expectations, my big goals for the year. And I did exactly what I learned from Brian Tracy. He said to write them down every day for 30 days without fail. Now this takes discipline. So I set the alarm on my phone that said, write goals. I had a little notebook in my purse and every day at the same time, my alarm would go off and I'd see, oh yeah, write my goals. I had no clue how these dreams and goals could come to pass, but I wrote them down. It was things like this. I said, 
the exact amount for my daughter's first car. She was about to turn 16. Um, I had a Bahamas vacation with the exact amount it would cost um, to speak at the largest church in the nation of France. I Googled it. They didn't even know me. I wrote that I wanted to be invited to speak in two new cities in France um, to sign a contract with my book publisher for a certain amount. I wrote it out. Um, to weigh my perfect amount, which I'm not going to tell you that number, um, to write a book on breaking soul ties, to print that book in French, to write a new book on imagination, um, to speak at the Amway conference. Well, when 30 days was over, instead of writing them down, I would just read them out loud every day and just express gratitude to God every day for these goals. Now I'll tell you all, I'll teach you all this in the course, but do you know that by December 31st, 2012, Every single impossible goal was achieved. All I did was practice what God's word says to do when you have a dream. I'm telling you, he is faithful to his word, but you got to stay focused no matter what. James 4 says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So stay focused. And hey, a little side note. You've most likely seen my, you know, giant pencil for years. I just have to tell you this. But when I went to John Maxwell's house the other day, I walked into his wife, uh, Margaret, his wife, Margaret, her painting room. She loves to paint just beautiful portraits and just on canvas, just amazing. Guess what I saw lying on her table? My Terry.com pencil. <laughs> I was like, John Maxwell kept something of mine. I thought that was so cute. But my third tip, you've heard a million times, but that doesn't mean you've done it. Number three is write your goals. Thinking you can keep them in your head is just an excuse for not writing them down. Success begins with a piece of paper, a pencil, and a little bit of time. One of the most important keys to success is to think on paper. So get started with this. But if you're really serious about designing your future, get the online vision board course that's normally $97 for only $8. The number eight means new beginnings. That's why we reduced it to eight. It's time for you to pursue the new things God has for your life. So click the link in the description and get started today. I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. It's time to supercharge your growth at the Live Your Dreams virtual event with Terry Savelle Foy, along with special guests, Dr. Dave Martin, Nicole C. Mullen, Jennifer Ford Berry, Rachel Cruz, and Girls Gone Bible podcast hosts, Angela and Arielle. It's all happening April 23rd, and you don't want to miss it. If you want to build your faith and get practical steps to achieve your dreams and goals, hurry over to Terry.com to register for this virtual conference for free today.